no to the number nine man in the Rays order. Sucre close to the plate. Stockley build catcher and the pitch. Slow ground ball to short. Charging is Simmons. A run will score as he throws out Sucre. But Echeverria is in and Peterson to third. RBI for Sucre. It's one nothing Rays. Not a whole lot this year. I don't know. And two. Swinging a ground ball to second. Miller's got it. Flips to second. Out. Echeverria throw to first. Double play. The Rays turn the 4-6-3 double play. And Cobb works his way through it. Dickerson's got to get a good lead and a good jump. The 3-2 again. Here's a swing and a high fly ball left center field and deep. Trout going back to the wall. And it's to the rock pile. In left center field, Logan Morrison with home run number 25. It's a two-run homer. And the Rays take a 3-0 lead here in the third. That's one way to break out of a drought when it comes to runners in scoring position. Hit one out. Maven waits. Throw to first. Pennington gets picked off. He caught him sleeping a little bit, and he spun his wheels trying to get back, and Alex Cobb does that as well as any right-handed pitcher in the game. The 1-0 pitch. Here's a swing and a line drive into the gap in right center field. This should get down for a base hit, and it does. Calhoun over to go cut it off on one hop, but Peterson got a good jump off at second base. He's around third and will score on the RBI single by Jesus Sucre, and it's 4 nothing Rays. And he just continues to impress when men are on base. He really does. Him had at 337. We'll have the first pitch, Parker Bridwell, up against Chris Archer. Here's a swing and a drive left field and deep. Back out it goes. Peterson to the warning track. To the wall. Jumps up and makes the catch. Right up against the wall. And Shane Peterson. I don't think it had enough to get on out of here. But he took away extra bases from Yanel Escobar. And Alex Cobb has a shutout through four. A couple of hard hit baseballs, though. And they stayed in the ballpark. The 2-0 pitch. Here's a swing and a high fly ball. Not of that deep to left center field. Trout over to go get it. Malik's tagging it third. Here comes the throw from Trout to the plate. And it's going to be cut off. Malik Smith scores on a sacrifice fly by Evan Longoria. And the Rays have a 5-0 lead here in the seventh. Middleton trying to keep this at 5-1 as the Rays bat in the eighth. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. Left center field and deep. Headed toward the rock pile. Boom! Nails the camera area out there at center field. Hopefully the cameraman's okay. It's a solo shot for Steven Sousa Jr. Leading off the eighth inning, his 18th, and the Rays lead is 6-1. to one. And boy, did that have that sound. Oh, did that have that bassy sound off the bat? Cobb ready to go, swings the leg in the pitch. Here's a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Thank you. There's the 1-1. Swinging the grounder right to short. That's if Rhea has it. Flips it to second base to get Trout, and that will retire the side. So Boxford with just a few pitches. And the Tampa Bay Rays have won the first two games post-All-Star break here in Anaheim, and they pull to within two and a half games of first in the American League East. The final score, the Rays 6 and the Angels 3.